Hi, I'm Tim Foss, and I'm going to show you how to easily turn time-lapse shots into a time-lapse movie in just a few minutes using Sony Movie Studio or Sony Vegas. The only preparation you need to do is to go to Options, Preferences, Editing, and reset the new still image length. For NTSC, set that to 0.033, which will give you 30 frames a second. Or for PAL, it should be 0.04 for 25 frames a second. Don't worry if the speed isn't quite right, as you can speed it up and slow it down later. So you've already captured hundreds of time-lapse images on your camera and put them into a folder on your computer. Select all the images using Ctrl A and drop them onto the timeline and adjust the timeline here to suit. Now group them as one video. Select all by clicking the workspace, keyboard Ctrl A and then keyboard G. Now it acts as a nice single video. Play it and see how you like it. You can change the speed by Ctrl click to grab the end. Drag it out to slow the rate down or drag it back in to speed it up. You can go up to four times slower or just over four times faster. If you want to go back to the original speed, just hit Ctrl Z to undo the changes. But take a note of the original length anyway, as you can reset it even if you've done a lot of other work to it. OK, so now we're getting there already. You may want a longer opening frame and closing frame, so expand the timeline so you can see what you're doing. Ctrl A again to select all. Click on just the last frame and press U on the keyboard to remove it from the group. Now grab the end and stretch it. Add it back to the group by selecting it all and pressing G. You can do the same for the front. And remember, the opening image can be from further down the video. As you've probably captured all the shots at a standard camera ratio, you'll need to crop it to 16 by 9. And this is also pretty simple. Go to the timeline and select a frame you can use as a guide to resize to. Now go to the video track and click here on Track Motion. Make sure that these two Prevent Motion X and Y are off. It's often difficult to see, but when these icons are selected, they have a bit of a blue tinge around them. Now adjust the image accordingly. If you think ahead, which I didn't do for this one, you'll have framed the shots with a big safe area top and bottom so you don't lose anything. You can also use Track Motion to duplicate camera movement, but that's, I think, for another time. So add a bit of music to make it into a movie, and a fade in, and a fade out, and save it and render it. As you can see, this is quick and easy, and it does give perfect results. And I'll try and do a bit more on time-lapse sometime in the future. So if you found this handy, do click on like. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and if you have any questions or comments, feel very free to ask them.